Hello, welcome to another video. This is basically a look back at 2018 and what's to come in 2019. Mm -hmm. First, let's talk about what's happened in 2018 for me wise. This past year, I got myself a new I got myself a job with good pay. I just like just this month, I actually just got past 100 subscribers, which is good for me. I also basically now in the case of comics wise this year, I didn't finish up any like major ones as of publishing this very day. I mean, still got Superman, Axe Comics, Detective. Those three I have still not finished up yet. I have finished up a little bit for Detective and a little bit for Superman, and like a few a few more issues of our Axe Comics, but that's really it. Mm -hmm. I did finish up this year. The Jonah Hex comic book. Yes, the main series, both the original volume and the second volume, have all been both officially finished. Yep. And, let's see. Oh yeah, in the case of YouTube-wise, also, in uh, addition for YouTube, besides expressing her at least 100 subscribers, I also got past 800 episodes of my comic corner. Yep. And the most recent episode I put up was 862. There's another one coming today anyways. Covering a couple of pretty good books. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, let's see. I'll get to the anime stuff in a minute. Let's see. I did some number reviews this year. Not much because there wasn't much for Star Wars and uh, Star Trek release this year. Uh, movie reviews, I didn't do any of those this year. Those of you curious though why I didn't do any movie reviews, aside from the ones attached to some anime ones I've watched, because I just, despite the fact how good some, uh, a lot of movies were this year, I just completely forgot to do them. That's just the gist of it. I just forgot, just simply forgot to do them. Yep. Let's see. Anything else YouTube-wise? Let's see. So continuing part of the Comic Lounge live shows whenever I can. Though I'm actually... But this video is via using my phone because, well, it's better if my wife had to use that because a lot of the time the audio keeps kind of on my end for some reason. I don't know why, it's just the way it is with my laptop where the audio occasionally cuts out with that particular thing. Mm -hmm. Also, I got a chance to move. Mm -hmm. But that's something else. But, let's see. I also got into more anime this year, which I should probably delve into that. Yep, I got into My Hero Academia this year, Gintama, Rosario Plus Vampire, High School DxD, which was the first of two series that um, that's based upon a light novel, not just a manga per se. Mm hmm. Though other series I have watched basically have had light novels, but not where that's what the main source is for this particular series. Though in the case of Overlord, that another series that just started up just just this week. Yeah, originally I started with a, a web novel, then evolved to a light novel series, and that was adapting to both the anime and a manga series. Mm -hmm. I got into Sword Art Online and Re Zero, though I haven't got to their introspective anime yet. So in a light, I have gotten to pretty much a lot of the manga for that particular franchise, and at least the first couple light novels I've read. And in the case of ReZero, I just been reading the manga. I haven't read the light novels yet for that particular thing. Mm -hmm. I did watch one particular series called Dragon Arcane, which I never viewed that particular series because I just chose not to review it because it's just my choice, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mostly a lot of the new anime, pretty much like almost every single new anime I got into this year, were all, except for like one, with the exception of one I can think of, they were all pretty much Funimation dubs. Yep, that's indeed true. All of them were pretty much, pretty much almost all of them were Funimation dubs. Yeah. Let's see. There is some else really anime I'd like to talk about, I'll talk about, I'll talk about the comic convention, I'll talk about it in a minute. Let's see. I've gotten more comic uh, more, I've got basically manga reviews. I mean, last year, I think I only had about one or two manga. I think I had like two or three manga review series where I talk about this year. I talk about continue talking about One Piece. I continue to talk about Tokyo Ghoul before I abruptly decide to end the particular franchise. Mainly because the manga ended. Let's see. There's also 
D. Gray, man, that's another series I got this year. That, that, that was a really dang good anime to watch. Too bad the last episode aired two years ago. Well, actually, three years ago this year, anyways. Yeah. There was, I got into one really long anime. It took like a month to get through, and that was Gintama. I also got into Full Metal Quest Brotherhood, which, for a lot of people, is one of the best anime in the last 15 years. I can kind of agree with that. I've actually met one of the people who wanted that particular anime, who worked on a particular anime. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, there was anything else? I did read the film Rockwell's Brotherhood manga, and I've read at least three other light novels for that particular series. Let's see. Hmm. That's it for anime wise, I can think of. Yeah. And some of you probably know this thing, though, from my comic corners this year that. About half of them are basically books I purchased. That's because of my job. Because prior to having my job, the only way I can get, I very rarely got new books. And as I have my job, I'm buying books mostly from Ollie's or Barnes Noble or Books a Million. That's mainly where I'm getting my books from. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't think there was anything else. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Best thing that happened to me this year. Became an uncle again. For the third time. Yep. Got a new nephew. Born just... As of this month, almost two months ago. Yeah, I, I haven't had a chance to meet him yet, but he's just an adorable little baby. I know my parents have met him. And my, well, my grandmother, my, my grandma's mother, met him. But I have met him. Yeah, I won't meet him until May. Mm-hmm. Well, also this year, two of my favorite comic creators passed away. Steve Ditko and Stan Lee. Never got a chance to meet these two guys at all. Out of all the comic creators who passed away in the past, like, couple years, the only one I've actually, I've only met two major people who passed away, basically, who are kind of comic creators. One was Bernie Wright, Stan, my hand before he passed away, and John Schnepp. I got a chance to meet him as well. Awesome guy to meet. Yeah. Now I'll talk about the cons I went to this year. I went to three of them this year. And don't ask how much money I spent, because I spent a lot of money, like, yeah, I spent more at the second one than I did the other two. First, it was Meg Carlando. I got a chance to meet up again with the dub actor who plays Naruto. Great to meet her again the second time. And she actually did kind of remember me, which was I kind of was, I was kind of surprised by that. I would have thought maybe she would not remember me because she meets a boatload of people anyways every year. I'm a little surprised she made because it had not been that long since I last saw her. It only been like a little over a year. Mm hmm I got a chance to meet up with New Adams. I got a chance to have chats with him at various cons, uh, at least two cons I went to this year. Let's see. I got a chance to meet up with Chuck Dixon again, Jerry Hummy, and Manny Connor. Though the first con I went to they were at, I wasn't able to actually get another guy for them because I had to get a ticket ahead of time. That was something I was not very happy with. I'm like, yeah. I got a chance to meet the Benches. Awesome people to meet. Let's see. I'm trying to think. What, what are comic creators I got a chance to meet? Uh, Scott Lobdell, Fabian Caesar, I got a chance to meet both, both, both those two. John Boy Myers. Let's see. Pat Broderick, I got a chance to meet for like the third, at least twice this year, which I was surprised about that. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I got a chance to meet one of my favorite dub actors, Todd Heppercourt. I got a chance to sign my, 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 my uh, fairy tale DVD because I know that that's one of his big things that he's been part of oh, since during his whole career. I figured, oh, I bring that for him to sign, and he was so happy to get that signed because, yeah, because, of course, at that point when I met him, this was before I had watched D. Green Man. I watched D. Green Man after I catch chance to meet him. Yeah, and those of you probably have curious though about a lot of the series against this year, a lot of them he's in. One, of course, is Black Clover. I got a chance to start the anime this year, but I kind of start reading the manga just last year, but I finally got a chance to read the entire manga. And I'm doing reviews of it, plus the new episodes of the anime, which I think there's a new one coming today. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Um, I got a chance to meet uh, Greg Horn. Awesome guy to talk to. Got a chance to talk for a little while. I even got myself a a, uh, a print from him, which was quite nice. One of the two prints I got this year. The other course is from the creator of New Mutants. That was basically a print of the, spirit, of the shadow. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm trying to think there was anything else. Hmm. 
Let me think here. I did get a chance to get an autograph from Greg Land. Never spoke to him. At all. I had no desire to speak to the guy because I had a book for him to sign. So, yeah, the book was basically the first issue of Domino. Well, he didn't do the interior artwork, thank guy. He just did the cover. Which, I don't think he minds signing that at all. Mm -hmm. Probably the two people I also got a chance to meet, Cat, a.k.a. Comic Who, from Comic Frontline. I was quite surprised to see her this year at Meg Con Orlando. And I even got the first four issues of her Like Follow Like That, her comic book. Mm -hmm. Yes. And talking to her was a blast. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm trying to think, what else? Um. Oh, yeah. I moved. Yep, I moved, moved six months ago to this new house. Which, I kind of like this location a lot better than my old, my old house. Because, well, for one thing, there's more room in this house. And two, I got a bathroom behind me. That's why the door is closed, because it's kind of inappropriate. We, we do a video, and we look over behind my shoulder, and there's a bathroom right behind me. Technically, it's a bathroom, but I close the door for a good good background effect. That's why that door is always closed. That's basically for my bathroom. That's why it's there. I didn't design the house, so, yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, yeah. This year, I got, for my birthday, I got this thing. Mm-hmm. Which, those of you who have been watching my videos since April of last year, have been noticing my face being a lot more brighter. Or you can see my face a lot more better because that particular device I got my sister, I got from my sister for my past birthday. This, of course, I got last Christmas, so I've had this for the entire year. Yeah, it's, for, it's something that I, I've been using this mic for like over a year now, recording videos. And I record a boatload of them. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't think there was anything else in the back of 2018. Oh, well, I did get a chance to see a few movies this year. I did get a chance to see several movies this year. Aside from seeing the four big comic movies here, which is Aquaman, Deadpool 2, Avengers Infinity War, and Black Panther. I also got a chance to see Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, the Queen Biopic film. Nutcracker in the Four Realms. I'm trying to think of anything else. No, I think that was it. I saw like a little bit less than I saw the previous year. Mm-hmm. And all of them were really good films. I didn't think any one of them were bad. Not really, no. Yeah, but I am planning on seeing other movies this year. I mean, one movie I really wanted to see. I wanted to see uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Oh, I also got a chance to see one anime movie this year in theaters. And that was My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Man, that was a blast to see on screen because that was one awesome film to watch. And check out my review of it at My Hero Academia and review. I believe it was like part two. I think it was like episode 20, 21, I think it was. Yeah, it was just before the final episode of the third season come out. Which, I'm not particularly very happy. I have to wait till freaking October for the season. But the reasoning for that is, from what I've heard from the article, is so they can get more time developing the season because they're adapting the internship arc, which is the longest arc of the entire manga. But they are kind of adept already thanks to the final two episodes of season three. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, what to expect in 2019? Well, expect more Comic Corner reviews. That's a definite. Yeah, I got. I even got one plan for today. Let's see. Anime reviews. They're still continuing. I'm gonna continue my anime for anime reviews. I'm gonna continue reviewing Overlord until I run out of stuff for the plate type of thing. As for High School DXD, I probably will resume reviewing that. Probably just reviewing the spinoff books until well, I get a chance to read the newest. The um. Excuse me, the first book of the sequel series, which all this been released to translate for that so far, just the prelude thing, the prelude and the first chapter of the book. Mm -hmm. I'm also get a chance to hopefully get a chance to start up this year. Case closed. Once I get through a little bit more of the manga, and uh, Goblin Slayer. Yes, I'm actually going to do Goblin Slayer. The spy controversy of the series is. I am actually going to review it once I get through some of the light novels, but that'll be handled a little bit later. Um, any of your anime plays this year? I might get a chance to do uh, My Bride is a Mermaid. Yeah, do that one. Uh, XS Holic. Probably get a chance to do that one too. 
I may get a chance to sort it online if I get a chance to get through more to light novels for that one. Uh, ReZero, I may be able to go through that one. But I want to get through them on the franchise because all I got through so far is just the manga. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm still probably going to the cons this year. As a matter of fact, I'm going to the con this month. I'm going to the Elena Touring Comic Con. Yes, expect to see a haul for that one. I get a chance to go to, which will be the 26th this month. That'll be like a little over three weeks away. Yep, a little over three weeks away. Mm -hmm. Do I think it was anything else? No, not really. Not that I can think of. But yeah, so that's it for this particular video. Stay tuned for my review, my manga reviews coming today. There's about several of them. There's also going to be a comic corner. As for my top 10 like best stuff for DC and Marvel, I may get sales today. If not, I might get a chance to get sales probably throughout the week. While I talk about the best and disappointing comics from this past year, both from DC and Marvel. Why am I not doing ones for the independent stuff? Because I do love the comic books, but I'm not exactly like um, as depth as I am with the Marvel and DC stuff. I have nothing against people who actually work on those comics. It just I'm not in full depth of those characters, of the stuff basic producers. I mean, there's some I, I really do enjoy reading from the independent stuff, like Spawn, Savage Dragon, The Walking Dead, Power Ranger, the Power Ranger comics from Boom. I do read um, a few books from Action Lab. Yeah, the books from Action Lab are Zombie Tramp, Dollface, Black Betty, and Vamp Blade. Mm -hmm. Xenoscope and Valiant, those two I read pretty much like every single comic release in those two companies, but I've never reviewed anything from them. Uh, for IDW, I basically review the Hasbro comic books, Ghostbusters, pretty much any kind of franchise I'm familiar with, basically, I read from IDW. Uh, from Dark Horse, I read the Mike Manelli stuff. The Alien, Predator, and Prometheus stuff. And I think that the Dynamite read a lot of the Pulp comics I'm into. And Red Sonja and Army of Darkness. I do enjoy reading these comics. I really do. But I don't own any of them. That's just the thing. And trying to give them library is difficult. Because they don't usually carry stuff outside of the big two. Image and maybe some boom stuff. Yeah, and they also carry some stuff at IDW. But... Most of the care from IDW is just G.I. Joe and Transformers. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, that's really it for this particular video. Stay tuned for other videos I'll plan to do today, okay? But until you see the next video, bye.